Hello children, how are you all? I hope you all are in the best of your health. Today, myself Nisha Soni is here with you all again to share the part 2 of parts of plant science topic for grade 3. Children, in part 1 we have done the two main parts of the plant that is the root system and the shoot system. Roots are usually underground and shoot is usually above the ground. Today we will study about flower, leaf, fruit, seeds and their function. So let us begin. So leaves. Leaves are usually green in color and they are called the food making factory of the plant or the kitchen of the plant. Yes, children leaves make food for the plants and as you can see in the picture that leaves are of different shapes and sizes like your uh, people tree has different shape uh, of leaves then your mango tree has different shape of leaves and also you can find different shapes of leaf uh, around the, in the trees around your house now children green leaves contain chlorophyll which helps to absorb light what is chlorophyll chlorophyll is a pigment that is present in the leaves that helps the leaves to absorb light now you can ask that why do the plants need sunlight the plants need sunlight to prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis so photosynthesis is a process by which green plants make their own food with the help of air water and sunlight now children in this process the plants take in carbon dioxide i repeat the plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen they give out oxygen gas now as you all know oxygen gas is very essential for all living beings we all need oxygen to breathe and to stay alive now some leaves also store food which we eat usually now you can see in the pictures curry leaves coriander leaves mint leaves spinach lettuce cabbage all these are leaves that store food and they are, we usually eat these leaves now comes your flowers fruits and seeds so flowers are the most beautiful part of the plant or we can say the most colorful part of the plant and we all like to see different kinds of flower isn't it they make our day bright some flowers also have a very nice smell like your jasmine rose they have very sweet fragrance isn't it now children flowers also help the plant to reproduce they help the plant to make more new plants some flowers also store food like leaves they also store food and which we also eat them like your broccoli cauliflower these are flowers which we eat now children most flowers become fruits that have seeds within them yes flowers become fruits and fruits have seeds within them a fruit may have one few or many seeds a fruit may have one few or many seeds like your avocado mango they have one seed only one seed then your uh, uh, this um, watermelon has a lot of seeds your pomegranate your kiwi they have a lot of seeds apple has few seed isn't it apple then your orange they have few seeds now children seeds grow into new plant the function of seed is to grow into a new plant so let us see how seeds grow into new plant by the process of germination when the seed of a plant is buried in the soil and given proper amount of air sunlight and nutrients it grows into a new plant and this process is called germination 
so by this process a seed becomes into seedling and then a seedling grows into a new plant now children we have learnt about the main parts of the flower sorry of the plant that is your root shoot then your flower leaf fruit now let us summarize all this a plant has two main parts the root system and the shoot system then roots hold the plants in the soil and absorb water and nutrients and also they fix the plant into the soil then a root is divided into two sorry it has two main types that is your type tap root and your fibrous root a tap root is a large thick root that grows straight down from a plant and a fibrous root system is composed of a bunch of small branching roots that grow outwards from the plant then a stem stem holds the plant upright okay and it also transports the water and nutrients that are absorbed by the roots to different parts of the plants then comes your leaves green leaves are the food producing factories of a plant then flower most flowers become fruits that have seeds within them then seeds grow into new plant then the growth of a seed into a new plant is called germination children with this we have finished the topic of parts of the plant i hope you all must have got a brief idea about all these parts now i have a small homework for you all and the homework is learn this definitions i have given the definitions of chlorophyll climbers creepers germination root system shoot system and shrubs so kindly go through these definitions write them the uh, write them in your notebook and please learn them so that you will also have an idea about these parts of the plant till then children thank you stay clean stay safe stay home